everyone welcome back to the channel it's amanda if you are new here and it's your first time welcome today we are going to be doing a progress update on what i am now calling i guess my main save file because of how much i am putting into it and we are just going to jump right into it because we have a lot of new sims living in this save okay guys so we are currently in the courtyard lane neighborhood of willow creek last time we were here we left off right next door to this building we left off with kaylin and raymond and their little brown stone area and so we're picking up right next door to them because now I have two sims living in this building and we're going to start out with Yujin. Okay guys so the first sim that lives in this building is named Yujin and I have been posting little updates on sims I've been adding in and stuff like that on my tumblr if you guys want to see more about them in between updates um, I do post everything on my blog under the hashtag TS4 as I mentioned in the last update video but this is Yujin and she loves the outdoors she is a green fiend and she is a party animal and I do roll my sims traits usually and so that's that's what she wrote sometimes I will change one of them if it's becoming too common with my sims and stuff like that but for the most part I leave it as what they wrote I like to think that because Eugene is a green fiend that she doesn't want to stay in her job long term guys because right now Eugene is working as a new hire in the salary person career but she has that green fiend aspiration right and so I like to think that that's not what she wants to permanently do I think she would like to move more into doing environmental work and actually helping out in that type of area right she does live with her dog Arlo Arlo is currently up here in her bedroom just lying down I'm actually gonna have her come up here and maybe praise Arlo and also give Arlo a hug I will give you guys a quick overview of her brownstone because it is three levels this whole building is made like that so I don't have anyone living here in the middle I do have another sim living over here on this side but I will give you guys just a quick overview of her brownstone really quickly instead of going into tap mode and doing all of that type of stuff right because it might might take a little bit too long and because the rooms are so small I don't want it to be too you know too jumpy I guess and so up here on her third floor we do have her laundry room room up here out here she has a small patio I just put a lounger out here and an easel because I imagine that Eugene likes to paint we also have a dining area over here she needs to do laundry actually her hampers are looking a little bit full and then over here I'm just gonna rotate this way and then over here we do have her bedroom with her dog Arlo up here lying down and if we go down to the second level this is actually the entryway of her brownstone down here and I made this into the office area so she does have an exercise mat down here and her computer is set up on the second level if we come over here we have a bathroom over here back here I just have a room where I put Arlo's pet bed and food bowl and also another toy box for him even though I noticed that pets spend most of their time actually sleeping in the same room as their owner so I don't really understand the point of me putting a pet bed in there to be honest with you guys and then down here on the lower level we actually have her living room area where you guys first saw her another bathroom area and her kitchen and dining is over this way and then out back here we have another patio where I put another pet toy box and a game table but like I was saying, I don't think Eugene actually wants to stay in the salary person career. I imagine that she wants to shift over to doing more environmental work and things like that and I also think that's why maybe her and Raymond are a little bit attracted to each other you guys did meet Raymond during the first update episode and Raymond actually works in in the civil engineering career I believe he is in that career I will have to double check but I believe he's actually in that career I wonder if she could take now nah, I'm not gonna have her do that because she does have to actually go to work in a few minutes so we're not going to spend too long with Eugene. I do believe that may be part of the reason why her and Raymond are kind of you know hitting it off with each other is because of that common interest in the environment and you know all of that type of stuff right and so we're going to actually see where that goes with Yujin but because this is just another update video we're not going to spend a whole day with Yujin and as I said she is getting ready to go to work anyway and so we're actually going to go meet her neighbor that lives in the third brownstone on this same lot 
Okay guys, so our next sim that lives on this same lot is named Clementine. I briefly mentioned Clementine in the last episode, but her place wasn't furnished yet. Remember, she is dating Kaylin, who you guys met in the previous episode. And Clem has the jealous trait. She is also a gloomy sim, and she's a maker. Now, I did give her the villainous Valentine aspiration, right? Because... I feel like Clem self-sabotages a little bit. Her and Kaylin actually have a terrible relationship with each other. She is late for work, but I'm not going to have her go to work today because we are doing this right now. But she does also work in the, I believe this is called the secret agent career. It is. And I don't know why she's going over to Eugene's house. Please come back home. Eugene is supposed to be going to work as well. But she does work in the secret agent career. I just wanted to put her into something that I don't usually play with, if that makes sense. And as I was saying, I did give Clem the villainous Valentine aspiration because it's not one that I usually play with. And because I feel like she tends to self-sabotage a little bit because she is a gloomy sim. Now, the reason why her and I'm also going to have her come in here and talk to her pet, Maple. My pets are all made by Pug owned by the way as well in case you guys were curious about that pug owned on the gallery and this is her pet maple maybe they can go on a walk actually give them something to do let's go on a medium walk together with maple because they are just moving all over the place <laughs> but like i was saying clem um does struggle a little bit with jealousy and her and kaylin don't exactly have the best relationship because of that they tend to argue a whole lot let me see where's he in the relationship panel as you guys can see even though they have good compatibility their friendship is very very low and their romance is in the red like it's not doing too great at all it says it is very awkward they drive each other crazy but they also also drive each other crazy this is still her boyfriend and it does say clementine cheated on kaylin because when i was playing with her off screen a little bit she did um she did cheat on kaylin but it's not i'm not making that part of their storyline okay i'm actually going to go ahead and remove that from their panel but she does have the villainous valentine aspiration so later on it could become important but right now it's not and so as you guys can see it's very awkward between them they have good compatibility he is technically her neighbor because he lives right here in this brownstone but their relationship is just it's not good it's not good at all they tend to argue a whole lot when they are together i'll have them like go out on little dates and stuff like that just to really get a feel of like their relationship and it's just not great and they'll come back and suddenly like everything's good they're hugging on each other and then it's right back to arguing right it's that type of relationship where it's just not healthy at all i my goal for clem really is not really a career-based goal like what i have for you jen my goal for clem is really just a journey of i guess self-discovery it's a term I'm looking for and just really trying to cope with why she tends to get so jealous and it's a term accusatory in relationships and why she because Clem is usually the initiator in these arguments not always not always but usually she is the initiator in these arguments between her and Kaylin right and then it just kind of spirals out of control and then before you know it I realized they just kind of like arguing back and forth right back and forth back and forth just picking at each other and just going around and around right and so my goal for Clem is actually like a journey of you know self-discovery and just really working on controlling her jealousy and just being more trusting of her partner but Clem does also like to cross stitch you know on a good note Clem does like to cross stitch she also has a small bonsai tree in her place I'll show you guys her place when they get back actually she does have a small bonsai tree in her place that she likes to tend to and she likes really calming activities like that right not the mailman mad what's wrong with you man whatever but <laughs> But she does love to cross stitch and she has a small bonsai tree that she likes to tend to and things like that that really help calm her down and help her just clear her mind a little bit. Oh, it's Willard back there. I love seeing all these Sims in one save file. It's so nice. But as I was saying, 
Clem does have activities that she loves to do that help her really clear her mind and not focus on being concerned that Kaylin might be out there cheating on her or out there doing things that she doesn't know about and all of that type of stuff, right? So she does have healthy outlets in her life. She just needs to really work on... I guess controlling that voice in her head that's telling her that people are not faithful to her, that's telling her that people aren't trustworthy and to always question everything that anyone says to her, right? Because it's really not a healthy, it's not that much of a healthy mindset for her to have. And that's really my goal for Clem is for her to work on that. I'm going to have them actually go back home so that I can show you guys Clem's place really quickly. Even though it does have a very similar layout to Eugene's, they are built exactly the same, but it's just decorated a little bit differently and Donita is actually up here taking a walk as well um I'm gonna have them go back home and I'll see you guys back at Clem's place okay guys so we are back at Clem's place and just really quickly I'll give you guys an overview of her place and so just like Eugene's place she has her office set up right over here she has another bathroom in here but the lights are off but it's literally just a bathroom and then upstairs she also has a laundry room another balcony with the same layout as Eugene's and we have her bedroom up here with her dresser she has a more floral theme for her place um it kind of just happened that way I just go with the flow when I'm decorating usually and so we have her bedroom up here with a very nice floral theme going on and then if we go down to her lower level we have her living room it's a lot more a lot darker than Eugene's is more of like I guess a fall themed color palette that's just what I gravitated towards that's what I tend to gravitate towards a lot to be honest with you guys and then over here we have her kitchen and dining area and then she also has a small patio out here with a pet bath but actually she's hungry so she can come down here and clean out her fridge and then also get something to eat but yeah like I said my goal for Clem is really for us to just go on I guess a journey with her of just learning how to control her her thoughts a little bit better and how to not self-sabotage her relationships as much I guess now she wants to come out here and <laughs> and talk to Mabel but yeah that's really just my goal my goal for Clem I don't really know if her and Caitlin's relationship can be repaired I guess that's something that we'll have to see because as I mentioned last episode I am also interested in Caitlin getting to know Krista a little bit which I'm excited for but either way even if her and Caitlin cannot repair their relationship I still want Clem to go on that journey of becoming a better version of herself okay guys so we have rotated to our next household and this is where my sim Tori currently lives this is also a residential rental but I only have one side filled the other side is completely empty but Tori's side is done we are right next to Clementine and Eugene's place and this is Tori she also loves the outdoors she is a non-committal sim and she is also a very generous sim she has I believe the neighborhood confidant as for but y'all as soon as I load it in Tori already want to be messy she has a want to ask Kaylin to be her boyfriend Kaylin is Clem's boyfriend that you guys you guys just met Clem right Kaylin is currently <laughs> Clem's boyfriend and she has a want to ask Kaylin to be her boyfriend now her and Kaylin because I just checked her romance panel she doesn't have any romance with anybody she wants to ask him to be her boyfriend based off of just them meeting each other I guess because I don't think they even have a high a high friendship or anything like that let's see where is Kaylin in her relationship panel they have an okay friendship like at best they're friends and neighbors and that's it they don't even have any sentiments with each other like at all and so she just wants to do that she just wants to ask him to be her boyfriend to be messy is what I am guessing I'm gonna have her come out here and tend to her garden so that I can show you guys her beautiful garden that she has out here maybe she could just come out here because it doesn't look like anything actually needs to be done in her garden maybe she could do some research out here while I talk about her a little bit more but as I said she is a non-committal sim and so I don't think Tori is actually looking for marriage or anything like that I think Tori loves her garden and just really wants to live here alone and have her solitude and all of that type of stuff right I don't think Tori is really looking to have a long-term relationship with anyone or have anyone like move in with her or anything like that and so I'm thinking her wanting to ask Kaylin to be her boyfriend is 
literally just for a good time and not for a serious relationship because she is not committal so it would make sense that she would want to be in some like committed relationship with Kaylin you know what I mean but Kaylin is currently dating Clem and the only other person right now I would be open to Kaylin entering a relationship with would be getting to know Krista a little bit more and so Tori just want to be messy for that right right now Tori does work and in the gardening career she works as a leaf cutter she is supposed to be at work right now but it's okay and I have an idea in mind that Tori and Taylin can actually be really good friends unless she then wants to ask Ivan to be her boyfriend and that's gonna be a problem right that's enough plant researching but then that's gonna be a problem right if she wanted to then ask Ivan to be her boyfriend that, that's not gonna work and so but for right now I have in my mind that her and Taylin could become pretty good friends um I love that they both have gardening in common as a thing that they love Tori also does love to bake that's why I put like some baking things over here on her counter and I feel like that's something that her and Taylin also could bond over because in my mind they are closer in age than Clem and some of the other Sims are like none of them are like super far apart in my mind in age but I do imagine that Tori is closer to Taylin and Ivan's age than some of the other sims are right but just really quickly I'll show you guys an overview of Tori's place so this is actually her guest bedroom that she has right here I'm thinking about making Tori um some family members and actually moving them in to this lot right next door to her because this is another residential rental and then we have a bathroom up here across here we have her bedroom it gets tons of natural light it's absolutely stunning when the sun is rising in here here and then over here we have another bathroom area downstairs you guys already kind of saw her living room area her kitchen and dining and then you guys saw her garden a little bit earlier so yeah right now Tori is working in the gardening career like I said I want her and Taylor to become um close friends and bond kind of over their love of cooking and baking and gardening and all of that type of stuff and maybe we'll have Taylor like come over here a lot and just kind of hang out in Tori's garden with her and help out with that type of stuff and we'll just see we'll see where their friendship goes okay guys so we are right across the street now still in the courtyard lane neighborhood and if you guys remember the last video I said that I wanted this entire area to be brownstone style but apparently that was a lie because I did not end up doing that I got bored of the brownstone of the brownstone style and just started doing whatever on the other side of the street right and so the first sim that we're actually going to be meeting in this building is named Amiri okay so this is Amiri and I've been having a lot of fun playing with Amiri you guys she is a good sim she is an art lover and she is also lactose intolerant which is not a trait that I usually let my sims have but when she wrote it I let her keep it and she also wants to be a best-selling author she currently is working in the writing career actually she is she is level two in the writing career she works as a blogger right now she actually has work off today but her goal is to be a best-selling author I did install little miss Sam slower writing mod for her so that she's not just like flying through writing books and all that type of stuff right now Amiri is kind of a she likes to go out she loves to party that's kind of her life right now right that's pretty much how I play the game in general right now to be completely honest with you guys is just letting my sims just live life not be worried about starting a family unless I feel like that's really a goal for them and she's also a little bit hungry I'm gonna have her actually I'm going to invite her parents over so that I can also introduce you guys to them and then they can eat together okay so I did end up inviting Amiri's parents over they are both right here and they currently do live on the lower level of this building in one of the apartments I made all all of these one bedroom so it was very quick for me to furnish them and because I didn't plan on any like families living here you know what I mean but this is her father Stanley and this is her mother June her mother actually does have the unflirty trait but I don't imagine it in the way of let's have her just talk to her mom really quickly I don't imagine her mother is unflirty in the way of like not liking any type of affection i picture her being unflirty as in basically just not in the way why are they talking through the door sims get on my nerves 
come sit over here or something. I imagine her being unflirty in a way of mainly just not liking public affection and stuff like that between her and her husband Stanley. They are both elders right now and he has the wise trait so as you guys can see he is currently sharing wisdom with June right now because they are both elders and oh I guess she did not like that life lesson. Oh, she did not enjoy that. Maybe Stanley was trying to tell her what to do, and she did not like that. I feel like Amiri's gonna be like, Mom, don't be so rough on Dad. You know you know how he likes to just talk a lot? Because I did notice that Stanley is a lot more talkative than June is naturally. But I do like to imagine that Stanley and June are like the property owners of this of this building. They aren't because I didn't want to play with property owners anymore after the disaster that was for rent when it first launched. But I do imagine that they are the property owners of this building and that Amiri lives here as their tenant for probably like a reduced rent, you know, all that type of stuff, right? But as I was saying earlier, Amiri is like definitely definitely a party girl she likes to go out she likes to have fun and all of that type of stuff she does work longer hours oh they are so cute she does work longer hours she usually doesn't get off work until about 7 p.m and usually after that she likes to go out she likes to go to the bar to the nightclub and all of that type of stuff right she is going out here to talk to someone else this is a game room that I built up here just so that the tenants could have something to do up here. And so I put in a ping pong table, two game tables, and a foosball table. There are other Sims living in this building that I moved in um, from the gallery. They aren't Sims that I made. The only Sims I made in this building so far are Amiri, her parents, and a Sim that lives over here named Nathaniel. And this is also just a quick overview of her place because they are very small. Her mom is here cleaning her bathtub she probably was like Amiri you need to clean up but her bedroom is very very small she just has her computer her bed we have her kitchen and dining area that's also combined with her living room area oh, her mom came in here to talk to her oh looks like her mom is trying to use her phone I think she's showing her mom how to use her phone <laughs> I forgot that that was a feature that came with growing together is actually showing the elders how to use their technology and all of that. And so she was just helping her mother June out with her phone. But I'm going to introduce you guys also to Nathaniel before we leave this building. Okay guys, so we are right across the hall from Amiri's apartment and this is Nathaniel. He is a cringe sim. He also loves the outdoors. I'm going to have to change some traits actually because even though I do roll them and cast, too many of these sims have the love the outdoors trait. But I might, I might actually keep it for Nathaniel because he does love to fish. That is something that he loves to do. And so I may actually keep it for Nathaniel and I may have to change it for someone else. Because everybody can't love the outdoors. That doesn't even make sense. So <laughs> he is a cringe sim. He loves the outdoors and he is also athletic. And he currently has the, I believe it's one of the adventure aspirations he has that came with Snowy Escape or something like that right now. Nathaniel currently works as a, he's supposed to be at work as well. He works as an able tinkerer. So he is level one in the handy person career. And I like to imagine the same way that Amiri's parents are like the property owners quote unquote, even though they're not really the property owners in game, but just in my mind they are. The same way they are like the property owners, I like to imagine that Nathaniel takes care of all of the maintenance here for this building, even though he does technically go to work. I like to imagine that he takes care of like all of the maintenance for this building and all of that type of stuff, right? And did someone just come into his apartment? They did, they just walked right in. This is actually a sim that I got off of the gallery. I don't even know his name. His name is Aiden. I have not given any of these other sims makeovers that live here because I just put them in the building to have townies that will fill up this world basically until I give them makeovers, decide who's actually going to stay here and who's going to be moved out of the building, see who becomes friends with who and all of that type of stuff right and so I'm going to let him actually just go ahead and chat a little bit if he wants to it looks like he's actually about to go maybe we could talk about cooking oh he just came over here to watch our TV okay that's fine I guess but <laughs> But I did put down a bunch of townies from the gallery. Like I said, just to see who I actually wanted to give a makeover eventually. And oh, he's leaving. I'm sorry, Nate. I thought maybe you had a friend in him, but I guess not. 
maybe he has somewhere to go. As I said, I imagine Nathaniel does most of the maintenance work for this building and that Amiri's parents are like the property owners of this building. Why is he running like that? Do they always run slow like that? I never paid any attention. And he just reset. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. I'm gonna have Nathaniel actually just come and Maybe he could just lounge in the pool a little bit, actually. Let's have him just relax in the pool. Come chill. I'm gonna have him go ahead and just get into the pool. But Nathaniel does have the extreme sport enthusiast aspiration. That's the one he has. And so maybe we'll do like some traveling and stuff like that with Nathaniel. Probably with a lot of the Sims, not just like with him individually. You know, like I'm not completely sure yet, but maybe we'll do like a lot of traveling with him and all that type of stuff. Because he does already love to fish a lot. I have him go to the park quite often and all of that type of stuff right and so maybe we will do like some group trips and all of that type of stuff with Nathaniel okay guys so we are right next door to Nathaniel and Mary's and her parents place and this is the last new sim that I have to introduce you guys to today and her name is Calliope and she is a clumsy sim she is also a foodie and she's a loner she doesn't like a lot of company around her she doesn't like a lot of people coming over to her house all that type of stuff right and she actually has the super parent aspiration because Calliope does want to get married she does want to have a child and those type of things right her and Sakina actually work together you guys met Sakina last episode and there's also a lot of information about Sakina available on my tumblr as I said last episode if you guys search just hashtag Sakina on my blog you guys will see a lot of stuff about her and who's calling her Ray hello there Calliope I thought some more about what you said and concluded that Lily <laughs> look Ray I don't care if you hang out with Lily Fong okay do that if you want to we got something to say about Lily later on actually concerning her and Jasper we gonna get to that okay <laughs> but Calliope does actually want to have a child she does want to be married and all of that type of stuff right but right now she is um she's a loner but she's gonna have to get out there a little bit and actually date around and see who she clicks with if she wants to have a child she could also adopt she very well could adopt and all of that stuff is a very valid option right so we'll just have to see where life takes Calliope and see where that goes right now though she does work in the culinary career because as I I said she is a foodie and I also have her set as like the leader I guess of the cooking group in town because since Taylan and Ivan moved here I imagined that Taylan wouldn't really be the one to start the group because in my mind Calliope would have already lived in Willow Creek right whereas Taylan and Ivan did not they moved here from San Sequoia and so I have Calliope set as being like in charge of the cooking group here in town and so we have have Tori in it as well as I mentioned earlier I want Tori and Taylin to become closer as friends we also have Clem in the group as well because I imagine that Clem likes to cook and of course we have Sakina because Sakina works in a culinary career and also loves to cook and so we do have a little cooking group together and what I have them do <laughs> is cook and bake when they are all hanging out together and as you guys can also see Calliope doesn't have a whole lot of money right now she only has 920 25 simoleons she did pay her bills and they were about five thousand dollars i'm sure this super expensive couch is not helping with how high her bills are this couch is by felix and harry by the way from their living room set it's a pretty old set by now but just in case you guys did not know where that is from it is by Felix and Herring but right now she doesn't have a whole lot of money and so I imagine that she's similar to Taylin wants to eventually leave the culinary career and do her own thing so that she can actually make some serious money because right now she is single and her job does not pay very well at all I believe she's only level three in the culinary career and she's gonna need she's gonna need a lot more money than that if she wants to be able to keep up with those six thousand dollar bills right let me give you guys a very quick tour of calliope's home now her home is not a residential rental it is just a regular house because i did not want to build any more residential rentals for right now because i am thinking about maybe merging Mava save file into this one as well and building up new crescent it, it's a whole it's a whole thing we could discuss that another time but i didn't want to build any more residential rentals for right now in this file because um of the limit on how many units you can have in a safe file and i'm still thinking about a lot of that type of stuff
stuff and trying to work out in my head what I'm gonna do about that. Upstairs we have her bedroom area. I went with a very like it's a lot of red in her home and I actually love how it came out. It looks very, very cozy to me. We have her desk set up over here in the corner and then we have, as I said, her bed, obviously. This is a bathroom. She has two bathrooms here. Over here is a empty bedroom. I did not make her empty bedroom a guest bedroom like I did in a lot of the other Sims homes because she does have that super parent aspiration. So I'm thinking this is going to end up being a nursery, hopefully, for um for Calliope. Then we come downstairs. We have her living room with um more of the red and orange theme going theme going going on down here. It's a little bit cluttered, not like super cluttered, but a little bit. And then over here we have her second bathroom. As I said, this is a two bathroom, two bathroom, two bed home. And then we have her kitchen area, which is my favorite. I always love the kitchen stove because it's where you could put like the most clutter, I feel like naturally, you know what I mean? And so we have her little cart right here because she does love to cook. And so I did put quite a bit of clutter out here on her cart. Her mixer is not like usable on here or anything like that. It's just here for decoration. We have a bottle of wine out because she was <laughs> having a little bit of wine. I'm going to go ahead and put that in her refrigerator. And then out back here, she does have a pool I typically do not put pools on my sims lots but I also didn't want this house to be super big either and so I did give her a pool but pools always look a little bit awkward to me I'm not the best at like designing pool areas or anything like that and so they always look weird to me on my lots like I don't know I need to like practice with that a little bit more because they always just look plopped down you know what I mean it doesn't look like a full pool area maybe I need to put like some tiling around it or something like that I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it but I know that I didn't want this house to be like huge when it's just her and so I did want to just create like a backyard area entertainment area we do have two lounge chairs over here and we have her grill area over here with some extra seating that is calliope i'm not super into her storyline yet because i literally just made calliope the day that i am recording this you guys i literally just made her and so that's just what i have in my head of her so far is that she loves to cook she's like the leader quote unquote of the local like cooking club and pulling all of that together um she does desire to have a life partner and to have a child she wants to be a parent and she wants to own her own culinary business similar to Taylor and really bring in some serious money that's what I have for Calliope so far. <laughs> okay guys, so we are at Anessa and Jasper's home. As you guys can see, I gave Jasper a little bit of a makeover because as I mentioned last time, I was actually thinking about divorcing Anessa and Jasper, right? Because I don't really care for Jasper that much, but I gave him a makeover because I wanted to give him a chance. Okay, and so I figured if I give him a makeover, maybe I'll start to like him a little bit better because Jasper never really had much of a makeover. He was just a townie and he was the one that Anessa fell in love with and so I, I let them roll with it. And so Jasper never really had much of a makeover and so I did take him in the cast and you know, completely skin overlay, all that type of stuff, right? Now, Jasper must have been feeling himself. I'm gonna put the pictures in because Jasper was out at the club, the nightclub, autonomously bumping and grinding with Lily Funk. Now, I was out at the nightclub with Krista and Amiri. Jasper was there by himself. I was not playing with his household. And he out at the nightclub bumping and grinding with Lily Funk on the dance floor. Now, I know, I know that the bumping and grinding from Wicked Whims is autonomous unless you, unless you turn it off. I know that, I'm aware. But walk with me, story purposes, okay? <laughs> I think because Jasper got him a little makeover, he feeling himself now. Jasper think he could be out any time of the night doing whatever he wanna do with whoever he wanna do it with. I didn't appreciate that because who was here with my boys? That's what I'm wondering, who, who was here with my boys? Where are my boys? Where's Kari? Yeah, who was here with Lil Kari and Lil Emery? And y'all, last episode, I don't think Emery had any hair. That was my bad. <laughs> I think Emery was bald, okay, last episode. Because I thought he just had like a little fade. I didn't think anything of it. And I took Emery in the cast, or one of these boys I took in the cast, and they didn't have any hair. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, he got such a cute little fade. And he was just bald. <laughs> 
So that was my bad. He has he has hair now. But either way, Jasper out at the club bumping and grinding with Lily Fong. Who was here with my boys? Yes, they have grandma and grandpa and oh, who's coming over? Carter's also coming over from next door. If you guys remember, this is a residential rental. And so Carter and, and so Carter and Britt do live on the same lot. But Jasper out at the club dancing with Lily Fung while Dodiza, Willer, and Anessa was here with the boys. Jasper already not the world's best daddy. We have seen him leave them on the ground when they were infants in Tomerang. Not care about them crying. Last episode, we saw Jasper make himself some food and not make anything for the boys after they told him that they were hungry. Jasper is not father of the year, y'all. Not by a long shot. And then y'all at the club dancing with other women? Like, please, for what? Why were you out at the club? Anessa wasn't there. Anessa was here at home with her boys. Now wasn't she? Weren't you, Anessa? She's feeling inspired. She's feeling happy. She's up here talking to her dad. And she doesn't know anything about this. I also gave the boys' bedroom a little bit of a makeover. I made it more, more kid-like, you know? So I gave them a little space theme room and all of that type of stuff made it made it real real cute up in here real toddler looking i guess because they're going to be toddlers for a little while because aging is off but anessa doesn't know anything about jasper being out at the club with lily and all that type of stuff and doing his own thing you know dancing and all that type of stuff and so i'm thinking you know because krista was at the club right krista was at the club with Amiri, they're out dancing, having a good time, all that type of stuff. And I think Krista, because remember I said last episode, why is Kari coming out here mad? Oh, he's asking for flashcards. Okay. And Jasper got the nerve to be family oriented, but he sure don't be acting like it. That's all I'm saying. He don't be acting like it, in my opinion. I feel like because Krista was at the club with Amiri. And remember last episode, I mentioned that I mentioned that Krista does a little bit of babysitting for the neighborhood, including like babysitting Anessa's boys and Sakina's children, Sakina and Aubrey's children as well. I imagine that Krista would want to tell Anessa that, right? Because Krista was there with Amiri and she would have recognized Jasper because she babysits the boys for them. They are so adorable. I love these babies so much. But I imagine that Crystal would want to tell Anessa about that. That's what I'm thinking this is going to go go towards. I think Krista would tell Anessa. I'm not going to have her tell her right now. Because I kind of want to play this out a little bit. But I think that Krista would tell Anessa that Jasper was out at the club having a good time with Lily Funk. That's just my opinion. And see, even right now, Emery hungry. Didn't he just mention food to Jasper? Jasper just sitting here, not making him anything to eat. He just sitting here, not doing anything. Just getting on my nerves. <laughs> but I just had to tell you guys that little update on what's going on with this household right here because Jasper's little secret is not going to be a secret for very long. Okay guys, so we are actually at Taylin and Ivan's place because I want Taylin to actually hang out with the cooking group that I was telling you guys about earlier. I want her to actually meet up with those ladies and go do a little bit of cooking. We might do one food sale with her. We'll see how it goes. If it goes pretty smoothly, then I'll have her do one food sale. If not, I'll just have them hang out together a little bit before we wrap up this episode. But her social's a little bit low and I want her to go spend some time with them while Ivan is still at work. And so I'm gonna have her actually go with her cooking group over to a little kitchen place that I put together for them. Okay guys, so we are on the other side of Willow Creek now and I have all of the ladies from the cooking group here so that we all can hang out together and spend some time in the kitchen baking and all of that type of stuff and y'all I had every intention of making this place like a minimal CC no CC type of place because I did want to create something like this that could actually like go in the gallery and once I got into it it just became like a full-blown like six gigabyte CC build and so I do want to make something like this for you guys that I can actually like put on the gallery but it, it can't be this one this is just CC overkill like all of my stuff ends up being and so what I'm going to do one day is probably just pull out my build by folder so that I, so that I can't use it and <laughs> really restrict myself and make something similar to like a lot of the stuff that I've put together in um in this file because over here I have a restaurant also loaded with custom content and then over here is a place that's actually from Mava's save file and I brought it over 
um, to this save file. It's like a little bar. And so up here we actually have a game room area. It's really just four boxes that are connected together as a multi-functional place. But up here we have a little game area. Over here is more like a chill area with computers, TV, um, a bookcase over here. And then down here we have the little kitchen area I put together for them. This was heavily inspired by Reyes Lucio's Market build that you guys saw me use in the Home Chef series. I used it. Um, for Taylor to have cooking classes with her family and all of that and so that was actually heavily this area was actually heavily inspired by that because I did enjoy that setup I just didn't keep all of the custom content from that build and I wanted to create something that was a bit more multi multi-functional because The Sims 4 doesn't have a lot of space in worlds if you don't want to have your sims traveling all over the place and so you need to utilize space the best way you can by making things have as many functions as possible on one lot and then in the middle we just have this little area right here that just connects the two buildings together and then we have a little cafe area over here and of course sims are obsessed with the cafe and so they're constantly trying to come over here which is kind of annoying either way i'm gonna have them i'm gonna have them all head on back here whose baby is this why is there a toddler here oh yes akina is also clumsy so her and calliope actually have that in common i think they both have they both have the clumsy trait but I'm going to have them all come over here and I'm actually going to have them get to cooking. I did not put a waffle maker on this lot because I, I don't have time for that. I'm sorry. I don't. I want her to make, maybe she can make a seafood pizza. And hopefully everyone else also starts cooking as well because it is on their list of things to do. Let's see. There we go. The obsession with the cafe when we're supposed to be here cooking. Well, at least the other ladies are also cooking. So that's okay, I guess. I'm gonna have her just make a pizza like I said maybe we can do one sale with her before the end of this I'm also gonna have her go ahead and prep some ingredients maybe she can make let's see what do I want her to actually cook if she's already making a pizza I'm actually gonna have Taylor go ahead and bake something I think I put a Somnic and Seven Wrinkle book on this lot I did okay let's have her cook baking EA maybe she can make some jelly filled donuts I'll have her make some of those and then I'll have her sell like a pizza and those donuts and it will wrap up the episode the episode there because I know it's probably already a bit long because of all of the new sims that I have to introduce you guys to and I am excited to get into doing like individual individual episodes where we spend like the whole time with just one household one or two households but I also want to make sure that you guys you know are familiar with who's who which is why I've been doing like these updates as well in between where it's focused on all of them at once and a little bit less individual Okay, Ivan is back home from work. He earned almost 2,000 simoleons. They're actually doing pretty good on money. They're at 23,000 simoleons right now, which is really good. Not the toddler that came all the way back here. Somebody come get their baby. For real. Because what? Whose baby is this? I'm going to send them home. Let's use just go away. I feel bad, but they need to go home. And I think our pizza should be done by now, too. I'm going to have her come over here and collect this pizza. Oh, yeah, she can't while she's baking. That's that's right. I want to have her get to know Sakina a little bit more because we're not going to blow Sakina a kiss, please. I'm going to have her just get to know her a little bit more. It looks like Tori and Sakina are actually hitting it off pretty well, though. Just have them chat a little bit and just get a little bit, a little bit closer. Yeah, Sakina is clumsy like I thought. So her and Calliope do actually have that in common. I forgot that when I gave them these club activities, that meant that they would just be doing it nonstop because it's not exactly tuned very well, but it's it's okay. Oh, Calliope made a white cake. Aw. I honestly did not think about what we're even going to do with all this food, to be honest with you. Let's have her do not, do not take our donut. No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you. Let's put this into our inventory, actually. Clem was like, oh, donuts for me? It's like, no, make your own food. That's what we're all here for. How well does she know Clem? She knows Clem a little bit. I'm going to have her come over here. Why does she want to sweet talk and flirt with everybody? Kaylin, please. Not not Kaylin. Taylin, please. You are married, honey. You can't look. Whose baby is this? Come get this baby. She's back here having a good time. I'm just going to leave her be. Let's have her get a little bit closer with Clem. 
and just talk to her about like how long have you been baking how long have you been cooking you know what do you do for work because remember Clem is actually in like the secret agent career she's not in the culinary career like how um Sakina and Kalia P are I also notice I gave them a similar a similar hair color as, as well they're both in the same career they're both clumsy and they both have a similar hair color aye 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 Okay, but I'm just having her get to know Clem a little bit more because they aren't that close. And I also do want her to do a a food sale before we leave here because it is already getting a little bit late. It is almost 8 p.m. And I want her to do at least one sale while we're over this way, you know? Because it's been a while since we've done like any home chef stuff here on the channel and that is, you know, that's Taylor's thing. So I don't know how well it's going to work on this lot with the, um, with the cafe being right here, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll see if people actually come. We don't have much to sell, so hopefully they'll still come. We're kind of like right in the middle of the sidewalk, Taylor. I don't know. I did have her do one sale in her neighborhood just to see how that would work. And it actually did pretty good. Like she sold to, you know, all of the Sims that you guys have already met now. And they all showed up and all of that type of stuff. So it was actually kind of fun. Oh, we do have, we do have Carter. Carter is here. Let's give Carter a sales pitch. Like I said, we only made two things. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for her to make a little bit of money and then we'll wrap up the episode carter are you interested in buying come on support your neighbor we live right across the street from each other willard is also here that's also like my favorite thing about having them all live here is that like everyone looks familiar which is also why i'm considering merging mavis save file over into this one as well so that we just have like a lot of familiar faces around and i only have to do like one set of towny makeovers instead of two and all of that type of stuff right oh carter mad carter why are you mad oh you're not gonna buy anything that's real thank you willard willard bought a slice of pizza for almost 200 bucks what a scam thank you though what about you oh okay let's see oh denitha is here help us out denitha help us out Oh, her mom is here. Kiara is here. She probably was like, hey, honey, I heard you were over here running a sale, and I came to check it out. If our mom doesn't buy anything from, from us, that is so embarrassing. No, y'all aren't interested? There we go. So that's not as dark out here for right now. Let's see, we do have other people here. Let's give ourselves a switch here. Oh, Krista is here. I think her mom did buy something. Her mom bought a jelly donut from her. Come on, Krista. Oh, her dad's here. Sean is here, who we got, you guys know, is also messing with Vivian a little bit. That's a whole thing as well that we're going to get into. We have Tegan here. Give her a self speech as well. I do still enjoy playing with Home Chef Hustle, just not like as its own full thing. You know what I mean? Our food is selling. Not this toddler out here. Please, somebody come pick this baby up. Somebody, please. Sold another donut. At least everyone we know is kind of supporting. Well, mostly everyone. Whose baby is this? Why are we taking care of this random toddler? Please. What is Krista complaining about? Oh, they got a sentiment together. An adoring sentiment. That is so cute. Uh, I love their little sister-in-law bond. It's super cute. Is the cafe lady coming to buy? No, I think she's just upset. Oh, we have Aubrey here. Sakina's wife is here. Let's go ahead and give Aubrey a sales pitch. Carter came back again. Let's give Carter a sales pitch. He did buy 36 simoleons. Okay. Oh, we just sold two. This toddler is getting upset. And no one is here tending to them. I feel so bad. Let's get... They're all upset at this baby. They're all upset with this baby. I'm gonna have... Can I just make this child leave? Let's see. Please, just just go. It actually worked out really well to only make two things, actually. Maybe whenever I sell with Taylor from now on, I'll have her only do a couple of things. Please tell me this toddler is about to go home. Please. Just just go home. No? Okay. That This is so weird. All right. Let's see. Our sale is almost over with. What do we end up with? Only two donuts left. That's actually pretty good. At least her mom bought from her. I think her mom actually bought from her twice, which is really nice. Oh, Ray is here. Let's go ahead and give Raymond a sales pitch. And Donitha also came back to support us. Donitha is like, somebody come get this baby. Ray, are you going to buy something? See, this toddler's bad for business. She's distracting everybody from us. Okay, Denitha did buy a donut. 
I think we sold. Yes, we sold everything before the end of the sale. Everything is all gone. Vivian is here, but we are all out Vivian, honey. We can go ahead and actually clear the table off. Food sales, 1,544 simoleons. Our seafood pizza sold from 1,215 simoleons or 2,016 simoleons. And our jelly-filled donuts sold for 328 simoleons. So I even made a lot of money at work, but Taylor also made a lot of money herself. And we're gonna have her go ahead and put this into her inventory. Oh, Vivian's sad because she missed the sale. It's okay, Vivian, we'll have more sales. You should've got here earlier. Okay, but I'm gonna have Taylin go ahead and head home and we're going to leave this toddler, I guess, right here, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna have Taylin, I'm gonna have Taylin head home. Okay guys, so we are back with Taylin and Ivan. They have both changed into comfy clothes for the night. And this is actually where I'm going to end off this video. I don't think we're gonna have another like full update video like how this one was and how the first one was i think next episode of this rotational series that we have will be like a full regular episode with just like one or two households hanging out with one or two one or two households something like that because i think for right now this was like my last like full round of making new sims for the save file at least for a little while and so next episode will be like a full regular you know regular type of gameplay episode with just one or two households instead of like so many in one video right but either way that is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode I really hope you all enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe take care of yourselves and I'll see you all next time Bye, guys.